Atena Koto Etifano, a Meinoi Tato Karakia Fakatufida Hui Ete Atua Manaki Tiamato Arahina Mato Iamato Mahi Irunga Ito Ingua Amine Kia ora. Thank you. Um, kia ora, kia rana, malala lei, talofalava, and good evening and welcome. I'm Robin. I'm the um, lead principal for Te Iti Kaharangi and principal of Te Papapa School. Thanks for coming tonight. We're thrilled to see you. Even if there's only a small group, it doesn't matter. Everyone's really important and, it's, and I'm just so grateful that you've taken the time to be with us. The aim tonight is just to provide an opportunity to fa for Fano to listen to some representatives from the Ministry of Health, of Education, of Social Development and, and of Pacific People. And it's all about why is school a safe place to be? I completely understand that these last few months have been really stressful. However, it's time to transition our children back into school as we move down the levels. And schools are welcoming them back already. It's, it's so exciting to watch their faces as they run into school at the moment. But I do realise that at the moment, it's a really stressful time for families. I know that making this decision to send your children back is a hard one. And you want to be reassured by schools and by health and by everybody else that it is a safe place for your children to be. So tonight, we're going to offer you that reassurance. We're going to give you an opportunity to listen to some professionals talk about why it is safe, and we're going to give you an opportunity to break into to your cultural groups and ask all those questions that you wanted to ask, but you didn't know who to ask. So it's a really informal evening, but um, thank you again for coming. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hand over to the different professionals, and they're just going to quickly introduce themselves. And Fano, if you're there and you'd like to introduce yourself, please do. And maybe, maybe you even might want to... Um, say you know any questions that you might have that have that that you've come with to this hui so thank you again and i'm just going to hand over to maybe i'll go straight to you Benita, and, and then we'll just hand over anyone just speak up uh, yeah kia ora koutou ko vanita govini toko ingua uh, i'm from the ministry of education and really really excited to be here and thank you anyone else just go <laughs> Kia ora koutou, uh, ko Kiri Kolia Toko Ingoa. Um, I am a service manager at the Ministry of Education and my, uh, I mainly work with children who have additional learning needs. Kia ora. Uh, kia ora now. my name is Meitarangi Tamati. I'm also working at the Ministry of Education as a practice and implementation uh, Pacific advisor in the learning support department. Go to see. Yeah, fire. Kia ora. Um, I'm Andrew Jameson. I'm the principal of Waterloo School. Um, it's lovely to be here this evening. A tēnā koutou i te whānau. Nō mai haere mai, ko Aroha Buchanan tēnei. He a kaia ko a hau i te kura o Waterloo. I'm a teacher at Waterloo School and I'm really wrapped to be here too. Thank you. Malo lele everyone. I'm really glad to see you guys and um you know, doing such wonderful work out there. Um, ko kuhingoa, ko ko vatisi, uh, o ko whakakaunga tāmaki i he potu ngawe a kopa, ko whiwhialahi he maafanga maali e ko nike tau ka whataha. My name is ko vatisi. I'm one of the uh, principal advisors, secondary transitions. So the work that we do is um, supporting the effort that the schools have been doing as well as agencies in transitioning young people uh, and we have been focusing on year uh, 12 and year 13, uh, looking into supporting young people as they, um, you know, some of our Pacific young people uh, through the many Pacific fauna we've had um, in the past during lockdowns have voiced um, that they uh, would like to help their families, support them with their financial um, conditions. And so what we have been doing is supporting them, um, exploring the options that are available, as well as supporting schools. So we are really glad to be here and thank you so much for the opportunity. Malo Alpito. Yeah. Mm. Anyone else? Yeah, Malo Lele. Um, 
nisam bolj vinaka, na jedan gole lani hipa, tali taka, nogo lako moj ike. Vinaka vrgi kolivu, thank you very much for the invitation to be here tonight. I'm a clinical charge nurse at Starship Community and I, um, we've had a, a few team members that are having some connection issues, but we have five, five on here and we're representing Cook Islands, Māori, Tonga, Samoa tonight and uh, we work within schools, we work with um, children under five, and of late we have been helping with the initial COVID response. So happy to answer any questions and support um, getting back to school. And I'll let my team introduce themselves. <laughs> uh, Talo Falaba, my name's Ben, and uh, I'm a nurse at Starship Community. I'm really happy to be here tonight. My name is Una. I am also a nurse at Starship uh, Community, and I'm very glad to be here tonight as well. Thank you. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Good on, everybody. You go, Sia. You go, sorry. Good on, everybody. My name is Georgina, Starship Community Nurse. Um, currently a school nurse in only Hanga Primary at the moment as well. I'm really excited to be on here with you guys tonight. Um, <clears throat> looking forward to where this goes. Oh. Kia ora. Uh, I'm Nikki, Starship Community Nurse. Uh, I'm also a school nurse for Te Papa Primary School. Um, um, it's great to be here tonight. Thank you. Uh, kia ora. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm doing this again. Kia ora. Uh, and ko sia toku i ngoa. Um, ta lofa. Um, my name is Telesia, or sia for short. I'm a Pacific Community Health Worker for Starship Community. Um, looking forward to a great opportunity to share with you. Thank you. Hello, Dave. I work at Starship Community and I'm also a school nurse out in Glen Innes and it's awesome to be here. Anyone else want to introduce themselves? No? Hi, yes. Kia ora. Um, my name's Kadeen. I'm a Kaioko at Papua Primary School. But I've also come online as a parent um, to see what information's out there. Thank you. Kia ora, um, My name is Tai Leofo. I'm the uh, Pacific Relationship Manager for MSD Auckland. Um, I have invited with me um, my team who are going to support the breakout rooms. Um, so I'll give them an opportunity to introduce themselves. I don't want to share their, I mean, take their limelight and then we'll um, end with our Pip who's my um, counterpart in the Māori space. So Lutanoa, unmute, introduce yourselves. Hi everybody, um, I'm Yvonne, happy to be here. Uh, kia ora everyone, uh, my name is Rangi and yes I'm part of the Lutanoa team. Hi everybody, my name is Kunta. I'm with the Leo Channel as well. Nice to see everybody today. Okay. Oh, Talo for love everybody. My name is Sose. Um, thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> Talo for everyone. My name is Sesita and I'm part of the Leo Channel team. Good to be here. Malole, everyone. My name is Kasaya Molaewa, and I'm also here with the Letano group. Okay. Here's Tom. Kia ora koutou, right. I'm Pip Lotetau. Um, I am the Māori Relationship Manager. I'm Tai's counterpart. And um, thank you for the invite. Quite excited. And I've brought on another staff member, so I'll let her introduce herself as well. Kia ora. My name is Grace Rauri. Um, I 
and one of the co-located case managers in Manirio Marae, and I'm here to Afia and to talk all the co-papa for tonight. Get our kids back in school, yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And um, is anyone else? No. And even if even if we haven't got a lot of fun out here tonight, that's okay because we're if it's okay, we're recording this and we'll make it available to all our ten schools so that um, so that Fano can access it and listen at you know at a at a time that's convenient for them. Um, so so thank you again. All right, so we we're, we're going to um, start now with. Um, Health is going to um, speak first, and I'm going to hand over to Lilani, who was starting. Thank you, Robin. I'd uh, just like to extend a sincere gratitude for the invitation tonight to all the staff um, and all the social support networks, ministry people that have brought this together. Um, from the health department, we just like to uh, share a consistent message about the safety of the vaccine and also the plans in place. Um, there seems to be a lot of confusion in the communities about the levels, um, uh, what's in place for children, as the focus has been predominantly on adults and getting people moving in time for Christmas. So we're just here to reassure and have a one-on-one -on -one with you. Any questions you may have um, to explore the plans around returning your children to school and also the impact that COVID has had while they haven't been there. So um, we've been working in the background and it's lovely to have this platform and this opportunity to come face to face today and have these conversations with you. So thank you again. Lisa, I forgot, did you want to just quickly talk about any questions before we move on to ministry? Oh, so kia ora koutou, ko Lisa tōku ingoa. Um, I'm Lisa, I'm a learning support coordinator. I work with Robin at Te Pāpapa and um, my sidekick is Emma, so she's somewhere around here too. Um, so thank you very much to everyone for coming tonight. Um, I'm the IT person behind the scenes. Um, I'm going to attempt this. I've never done a Zoom probably this big. Um, so I am recording. The other L marker that you may be able to see in the gallery is my other computer, just in case this one doesn't work. So um, if you have any questions for any of our professionals, please just record them down in the chat. Um, I will be transcribing this as much as I can. So if we have any questions that aren't answered, we can send them to our professionals um, and get back to you. Um, if you would like to enter a prize draw um, for participation and contribution to this fabulous event, put your name, you can enter by adding your name, um, either phone number or email address in the chat um, down the bottom. If you just click send to Lisa, that's me, um, then that keeps it semi-private. It's just me. You, If you feel confident enough, you can put it in the main group chat, but hey, it's up to you. But if you want to put it in there, we have four $50 vouchers to give away. Um, so yeah, and if you have any questions or you need any help for the next part, I'm, I'm gonna stay in the main room. So if you get lost on your way to the breakout rooms, I will help you find your way. Kia ora. Oh, thank, thank you, Lisa. Okay, moving on, we're gonna have um, someone speak from Ministry of Education. Uh, kia rana, kia rana tātou kato toa, i te aroa te pokoa to tātou atua. Uh, just um, kia ora koutou, um, talo for lawa malo le lei. Mei te rangi tamati here from the Ministry of Education. And just want to uh, thank Aroha for the karakia to start. And also MSD, thank you for finding the time to join us. And MPP, I think there's some MPP out there and also our Pacific, um, public, our public health. Thank you all for joining um, this Zoom. The Ministry of Education um, just wants to you know, just to convey that um, schools are safe. And um, joining me is uh, Vanessa Governi, Kerry Collier, and also Ko uh, Fatisi Ponunga, who's also here with Ministry. And so they'll be helping in the chat if you have any questions. Um, last week, 
17th of November, our primary schools started and even my six year old, he went along with his dad as the teacher and, and, and they started and, and the first thing he said, he goes, mum, that was cool. I saw my friend and we had lunch together. We stayed in our bubble together. We played, um, even though my husband is a teacher and he would say, I keep repeating myself, uh, keep your distance keep your measure, you know, spread out. And um, they're so resilient. They found, they changed the program around to go outside, to um, have the breaks. And your schools in the Te Iti Kahurangi area will make those changes. So um, just congratulations to the principals. The, the things that have been put in place that the schools in that area, uh, all the directives from the bulletin, from the Ministry of Education Bulletin, and we work alongside the public health. Whatever they tell us, the directives, that's what we do. Um, so school is a safe place because the programs and everything uh, that's put in place, everything like the, the year fours have to wear, from year fours up, have to wear the mask. Any adult that's in the school at the time, they have to, you know, the mandate came through, our teachers have to be vaccinated. It is what it is. Our adults had to do, um, get the vaccination to be safe, so the students are safe. If, if a bubble of 10, if, or if by any chance there's, um, you know, there could be a, pos a positive case, that bubble will close down and there's directives on what to do. So there are, um, you know, sanitizing all the time. Um, the year nine and tens would have, some of them would have started today. Um, waiting for the seniors to leave. And even today, um, the seniors started the NCEA. So we thank the principals out there who are doing the hard work. We, Our bulletins um, come out like 4.30. Today's one just before here came out at 5 p.m. So we're keeping an eye on what is updated, what is new. Um, but the main message is school is a safe place because we have to make sure everything, the time, who, who the children will meet is only in that bubble. Um, who are the people allowed to go in? They have to be, um, you know, the school has to know who they are, whether they're vaccinated or not. Um, one main key is we think about our students that they, their well-being, um, you know, I know the well-being of students, parents, even teachers. We're connecting all the time online, um, but that's paramount that our, our tamariki are, you know, they're going to enjoy getting up and oh, before going to sleep. They've got to get to bed earlier. I know even my household, I'm like, heck, it's 10 o'clock. Go to sleep early and getting into the routine of things, waking up, having breakfast, getting putting on the uniform and grabbing their bags ready to go. Uh, probably first challenging if um, they haven't had a good moist, so they need to have a good sleep, the eight hours, nine hours sleep, and um, even teachers as well, getting back to the routine of things. Um, Yep, there have been some students who have had anxiety and our parents out there, I'm not too sure how many parents are joining us. We That's why we invited the other departments that could help you, whether you need Kai, whether you need some finance, because with all the anxiety around us, do we have enough food? Have we got lunch? And that's the most important. We've got a full puku, then we'll be able to um, go, go, go to school and learn. Um, vaccination register, we vaccination register in the schools for the 12 to 16 year olds in secondary schools. And our ministry is also supporting counseling. Um, there's some funding that um, schools can apply for and I'm actually part of that as well. So if there's any principals out there who haven't um, gone through and did their funding for counseling for tamariki who need support for individuals and also for groups of children. If there's any trauma or anxiety, that extra funding came out for our Auckland schools. So something for our principals. Um, yeah, there's only four weeks of school left. Um, so the challenge is if you haven't got back to school, maybe um, trying to get Get, contact your school because that they're the center of every contact and communication. Whether you can connect, if you're a year eight, be able to go at the end of um, for the next four weeks so that your your um, teachers can help you to trans transfer or transition over to your next school in 2022. Um, yep. 
Um, also thinking of our, our NCA students who uh, commenced today and mm -hmm. um, some of them will be also um, deciding to use the um, learning recognition um, credits and some students decided not to set the exams, but um, that information is best for them to contact their, their teachers. Uh, there's also a study, um, study at NCA help for students and also for teachers, if they have specific questions about NCA um, studies. Um, yeah, it's been hard for our, our senior students. It's been hard for everybody, um, but for our students to get back to school, um, build those relationships, even ask getting back to school or online to ask the questions to the teachers on what they can do for transitioning to 2022. And just a big aroha to the parents out there who are um, doing it hard at this difficult time. We opened the school, so if you needed to go back to work, there's the option for you to send your tamariki. Send your tamariki to us so that you can actually clock in and, and um, go, to, go to work and get some mahi so you can get some kai. So um, if you have any questions in regards to education, um, drop it in the chat. And um, also we'll leave our email and phone number to Lisa. So just uh, another mihi to all the other ministries who are here to today. And I'll be in the Cook Island um, breakout room. If they are me iti tangata kukiarani koutou, I'll be there to have a little kōrero. And sorry, there's no food in our area, but that's all right. <laughs> we can imagine it. With Cook Islanders, we talk and we eat. So, kia ora. Kia, kia ora mai. And you're right, we, we do know that it's very tough for a lot of our whānau out there, so it's a really good opportunity for the Ministry of Social Development to just talk about what's available. Who's going to speak there? I'm just trying to find my unmute button. <laughs> I'm, trying to I'm trying to navigate through three different screens. <laughs> um, thanks you for that. Um, hey, I um, want to acknowledge everyone that's on the call today um, and thank you for the invite. Um, huge, huge ups for our, princ our principals and our um, to get things ready for um, our, our tamariki, making sure that it's safe for them to return. So just want to acknowledge you for your work there. Um, in terms of MSD, so we are here to support. So MSD is is a big beast, and so uh, there are a number of things that um, we um, support New Zealanders in, such as housing, so emergency housing, um, um, employment. We're the number one um, employment agency for New Zealand. But I want to focus um, on financial assistance because I'm gathering, I'm guessing that that's probably what you want to hear more of um, rather than the other two things. Um, that said, um, if you do have any questions that would fall in the other two areas, please um, uh, chuck it in the chat and my team will be in there to answer any questions that you may have. Um, so in terms of financial assistance, there is assistance available through MSD for those that are in low income or not um, working. Uh, there are a number of um, uh, assistance available and it'll probably take all day just to go through every single one of them. Um, but I guess the easiest way to find out what you need or what you may be entitled to, because it is based on individual um, uh, situations, um, what your current um, circumstances are in your home, in your family, um, is to check out what we've got, a little calculator called Check What You Might Get. It's a series of questions that ask you um, about your family makeup, uh, whether you're employed, if you're not, how much income you're receiving. And at the end of that, we'll spit out what is available to you. And it can be that um, if you're already in employment, but you're just needing some assistance around accommodation, it will tell you um, where to go to how to access that. Or if you are a student and looking at um, education in, uh, in the new year, uh, you know, University, um, then there's assistance there for you as well. So, um, like I said, there's a there's a whole lot of stuff there that is available for um, 
uh, for New Zealanders. Uh, the other thing that we have is one-off assistance. So if you're needing, needing assistance for maybe uh, you're short this week for food, we can offer you assistance in, in that. We can offer, we pay for school uniforms, um, stationery, anything that you may need in schools, um, assistance is available again through MSD there. Um, um, in terms of our current environment, there's the COVID leave support scheme that's also available through MSD. This is where your families have been um, directed by Ministry of Health to self-isolate um, and you're needing support by you self-isolate. So we're there to, find, um, to provide that financial support and allow you to do what you need to do to look after your family in the time that, you know, that you're having to self-isolate. Um, and of course, there's assistance that is available through uh, to employers as well to allow the employees to self-isolate um, and continue to um, uh, pay them a wage. <clears throat> um, the team is going to also put up um, uh, with some links to how to access food, so you don't necessarily need to come through MSD. Um, you can look at accessing food through your service provider. So we'll get some links up in there. These last uh, 15 weeks have been really, really challenging for us in Auckland, uh, particularly for us as our Māori and Pacific. Um, in week one, um, MSD um, acknowledged and realised that we needed to put something in place fairly, fairly quickly. And so we stood up a... Um, a a group of agencies and Pacific providers, because we know, we acknowledge that we don't have all the answers. And when you're in a lockdown situation, we rely on those people that are that know what's happening in our communities and that have the reach and that on the ground experience. So we leaned heavily on our Pacific providers who had that relationship and were able to tap into the um, our Pacific communities and our people that needed assistance. So they'd go um, reach out, provide them with their initial um, uh, support, um, be it food or whatever it is that they can, uh, so they needed for that first 24 to 48 hours. We then come in on the back of that and look at, okay, now that you've got to self-isolate or that you need um, additional support, let's look at what you need for the next five days, next 14 days, and continue to provide that support walking alongside them, um, but having a provider there also um, um, walking alongside um, those families. And where the need is, we'd reach out to our um, agency partners and bring them into the loop. The idea is not to have uh, four or five different cars up the driveway, but to have just that one link to the family so that they feel that they're being supported. It doesn't matter where that support is coming from, but they're receiving that. Hmm. Um, that's about it for me now, uh, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to um, fill it, um, chuck it in the chat. And if you want to wait for those breakout rooms, uh, like I said, my team will be in those rooms um, to um, answer any questions that may be, may be presented then. Um, I'm going to hand it over to my buddy here, Pip. Thank you, Ty. Thanks, Ty. You, you covered pretty much everything, girl. <laughs> I just want to talk about what Ty has, um, has said as well. Um, obviously, we've been working hard in the background as well. Um, our um, Māori partners and everything um, set up what you see behind me called the Eta Dot, and we got in behind our Māori counterparts as well and, and were um, uh, encouraging people to get vaccinated. So the Eta Dot was just a different way of explaining um, the vaccination and also doing a drive with our rangatahi. Um, our, our rangatahi age between 12 and 34. So, so we were behind all of that as well. Um, in behind that, um, MSD also um, uh, encouraged the financial support as well. If people would reach out um, and basically from the Eta Dot, we also had people wanting to find employment. So we assisted in that as well. So yeah, um, awesome to see our kids back. Um, so I really appreciate being, being part of this forum as well. And 
like Ty said, if you have any questions, please let us know in the chat and we'll do our best to answer everything we can. Kia ora. Kia ora, Pap. Um, and the last ministry, Ministry of um, Pacific Peoples, is there someone here? I've only got part of my screen. Is there someone here to speak? No? That's fine. Um, and last but not least, we're going to one of our classroom teachers who, who is going to talk a little bit about what it's like being back in school. Araha? Yeah, unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, kia ora whanau. Um, well, actually, May's gone over more or less everything that I was wanting to say, almost. But one of the things that I did want to actually say was that I think sometimes our we as parents, including myself, we forget about all the things that the schools have actually done in the past. Like for instance, for me as a Māori and a parent and a teacher, school is a safe place to, to be, goes further back than this kaupapa as it is the tumu or foundation that everything is built on for school, for our tamariki. And I just wanted to say that, that the, these three things I think are really important and other than that other than saying that the kids at school are enjoying themselves I think I've got nothing else to say so I'll just quickly run over the things that I think are important as a Māori parent when I actually took my children to school I think that I wanted to make sure and these are the things that happened at school that my child's culture was accepted and it was and they didn't have to leave it at the school gate that's all part of safety so that's already happened for us. The other thing is my child's teacher knows me, knows him or her, not just about their reading, writing and maths assessments, but it actually knows my child. And I think that's so important. We're not just talking about COVID. We're actually talking about things that have happened in the past and we've built a relationship with our families. Those relationships, We've actually got them today and we've got to make sure that our whānau don't forget we're there for them. We really are and we're actually a team. Mahi tahi, we're working together. So the other thing I just wanted to say, so that's our cultural thing. And um, yeah, well, just those two things actually. Those are the reasons why I think that we choose our schools and the schools that we've chosen, we know that those our schools are actually behind us. And I just want to say thank you very much to our principals and everyone here that's spoken. Thank you. Kia ora, Araha. And I think I think Araha has summed it up, you know, speaking as a school principal, basically is that, that we genuinely do care and love your children and we and we will always do the very best for them when they come back to school and, and keeping them safe is, is paramount. So please mm -hmm. don't ever think that, that we don't, you know, care for them like you care for them. Okay, so that kind of brings us to, to the end of the formal part. And, and I realise that perhaps there's not a lot of um, community here, but let's go into breakout rooms and just see if there is. And as I say, we will... Um, um, you just leave the breakout rooms when you're ready to, um, and we will um, post this up so that Fano not here have the um, opportunity to also hear all your words. Thank you very much to everyone who's contributed today. I know we pulled that, this together really, really quickly, but your your willingness to be a part of this in such a short amount of time was was just stunning, and I think it just shows you that that while schools are, are the centre of a community. We have so many other people that wrap around us and make us who we are. So thank you again to everyone who's participated today. It's very special. And I'm just thanking you on behalf of Te Iti Kaharangi. So it's up to you now, Lisa. You're going to break us into, into um, breakout rooms. And, um, yeah, so um, kia ora, everyone, and thank you. Uh, thank you, Robin. Um, I'm sure I speak on behalf of everybody else. Thank you for having the um, vision and initiative to help put this together. Um, being lead principal of 10 schools in Auckland, nonetheless, is no um, mean feat. So thank you very much for your visionary, your, um, your leadership, and your love and commitment to our children. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm also a mum of two children, and they go to Te Papapa, 
and they're having the best time. Um, they love coming back. One's a brand new five-year-old. Um, she only had three weeks at school before we went into the lockdown. And so she's come back and um, it's like she never left. My um, son, Samuel, he's seven. Um, he's been well supported over the lockdown with bubble school and uh, online learning. And he's just, the smiles on their faces. They also sleep really well at night um, <laughs> because they're absolutely knackered by the end of the day. So yeah, thank you very much to Robin and the team um, for looking after our children so well. So what mm. I'm going to do now, fingers crossed, is put you into breakout rooms. Well, I'm not going to put you into breakout rooms. I'm going to open the breakout rooms and fingers crossed, you'll get a little notification saying breakout rooms are now open and you should be able to choose where you want to go. So there is a Māori, uh, so Te Reo Māori, Cook Island Māori, Tonga, Samoa, Nguyen, and then it says general or other. So if you speak a language that is not any of those other ones I just listed, you can jump in there, have a big old chat, and professionals, you know where you're going. So I'm going to stay in the main room. Um, I may not see you again. So thank you very much for joining us this evening. Um, take care, and I'm going to open up those rooms now. So if you get lost, you can request me and I can pop up and help you. So it's like, where's Wally, but where's Lisa? So here we go.